All right, so today we have some more Cofidis controversy uh, with Viviani and Consoni and how they should have got disqualified, but how the rules need tweaking. Anyway, this is Tour de Puerto Echeron, stage 3A, uh, sprint stage in the morning, TT in the evening. So anyway, let's get ready to watch the race. So we have about 2.2 kilometers to go um, in the finale of this race, you know, a classic sprint finish. Um, footage is a bit questionable. You can see speed in the top left-hand corner as well as distance to go. Tirek Denergy are doing a pretty good uh, job of leading out that sprint and Nicole Bonifazio. And then you've also got um, Arkea involved as well. And then you've got Wallo and Bingles who are in the yellow, who are the, is the lad we need to watch out. And obviously Crawford is a further back with Consoni, who just won the gold medal in the Olympics uh, with Viviani. Uh, they, I think, in Madison Partners. Uh, but anyway, with like 1.2k to go, it's all strung out, nothing too chaotic at the moment. But the key thing to look at at the moment is where Cofidis are. They're actually quite far back. Okay, I'm moving up on the right-hand side of the road now. Um, Cofidis have got three guys on the left-hand side of the road uh, ready for an act, a proper lead-out. But they're quite clever, to be honest. They wait. They don't go too early. Direct energy, like here, come on, you've got like two guys left with like maybe a kilometre to go. It's probably not enough. You're probably too far forward. Well on Bingles on the right hand side do a good dive bombing there, move up a couple more positions. Now they're like seventh or eighth wheel, um, while Cofidis are a little bit further back. But no need to worry because Consoni is actually a really good sprinter in his own right, and I actually really rate him. Um, he's only like 23 um, and he's super, super good, but he is signed for Cofidis for a long time until 2024. But I think someone needs to nab him because I think he's he could he could do well in spring classics potentially as well because he's, he's just an all round top qual rider. But Cofidis are miles back now, direct energy is, start, is starting to slow down a little bit. Um, just because it's bunching up and like if you look about 10 wheels back it's starting to bunch up showing that it's not as fast as it was um, but then further back there everyone is still lined out I mean, it's still quick but it's, it's not as quick as it was people are starting to free wheel people are starting to think they should move out obviously Connor Swift is there for our care Samsic the true hero himself and Coppola's sort of really far back on the right hand side and they decide that actually going around this right hand corner they're going to have to move up pretty quickly uh, unfortunately there's no comms to go banners at the moment so I'm not actually sure how far they are to go uh, but I believe it should be about 600 meters. But look on the right-hand side of the road now. Um, Consoni is starting to move up uh, Viviani, and then the Walloni Brooksdale sprinter is right on his wheel, um, and Consoni is about to do the lead-out of his life um, for Viviani, who is in actually like a white jersey, uh, so he's second in their train there on the right-hand side of the road, uh, with Arkea now on the front of the bunch. A uh, little headbutt there from Consoni, and moves him forward, and now Viviani is on the front, uh, basically straight behind Consoni, perfect lead out by Consoni, drops off Viviani here, one of your book sale ladders comes around, sees a little gap about to go through and Consoni says no and shuts the door. And now that, my friends, is not good. You can't do that because what he's done was so on the over overhead shot clearer, but what happened is there was a gap for him to go through. Um, we'll see, this is the front on shot. So. Well, I'm in book sales sprint is trying to get through that thing and Viviani basically closed the door. Um, well, Consoni closed the door on Viviani. But obviously the thing is, if Consoni gets disqualified, that doesn't matter because Viviani still won the stage. So it's a really hard thing to police um, because I don't know what you do. Do you ban both of them? Like, I think you, you've got to kick him out of the race forever and then maybe think of a uh, future ban. But look, so Viviani goes on the left-hand side of the road, got a sprinter behind. Um, Consoni's on the right, on the left, looks across and look, there's a gap there. And then he says no and bumps his elbow. And that, my friends, is ridiculous um, and can't be happening. But anyway, leave your comments below. What do you think? Should he get disqualified? Should the team get disqualified? Should Viviani lose his um, first place as well? I think maybe he should because otherwise I don't know how you do it. But then he could say it's not my fault. So he did that. I don't know. Anyway, it's a bit tough. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. I'll see you in the next one.